Welcome to Electro Online. Now in these examples we have to work with something a little bit different. Notice that we don't have the equations in the general form. So we probably want to convert that first. But also we want to make sure that we're dealing with the equation of a circle. Notice that the coefficient in front of the x squared term and the coefficient in front of the y squared term must be the same. In this case they're both two. Otherwise if they're not the same it's not a circle. Here again, we want to make sure that the coefficients are the same, otherwise we're not dealing with a circle. So in this case, we are indeed dealing with a circle. Now, if we want to put into the general form, we want to get rid of the number 2, so we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 2 to get rid of that coefficient. So divide this by 2, divide this by 2, and divide this by 2. All right, that means we now end up with x plus 1 quantity squared plus now, even though it says y squared, we could write it as y minus 0 squared if that helps you understand where to put that central location of the circle, the center of the circle, and then this is equal to 4. Now, 4 can be written as 2 squared. And now you can see that this is exactly like the general form of the equation. So first, we find the center of the circle. Here we can see that it's shifted to the left by 1, and here it's not shifted in the y direction. So in the x direction, it's shifted to the left by 1, negative 1. In the y direction, it is not shifted, so the center of the circle as is, is at minus 1 and 0. Now we realize that the radius of the circle is 2, so from the center we go to the right 2 spots, we go down 2 spots, we go to the left 2 spots, and we'll go up two spots. And so we can see that those four points will lie on the circle. We could then connect those dots like this. And now we have ourselves the circle, the graph of the circle, relative to that equation. Again, you can see the center is shifted to the left by one and zero in the y direction. We do the same over here. Again, we want to get rid of the coefficient. We divide both sides of the equation by three. So here we end up with, and again we can write x minus 0 squared instead of just x squared. So we can see that this is the form, plus y plus 2 squared is equal to 4, and 4 is also 2 squared. So again, the radius of that circle will be 2 as well. The center can be found by realizing that in the x direction there's no shift, in the y, the y direction the shift downward, down to negative 2 so that the center is at 0 comma negative 2 and then since the radius is 2 we go up 2 we go to the left 2 we go down 2 and we go to the right 2 to find the four dots that lie on the circle we now connect those four dots like so and there's the circle again with the same radius but shift in a different direction down 2 and 0 in the x direction and that is how it's done